What's happening guys and girls, I'm Rage Leopard and welcome back to Let's Play Funtime Bloodstone. We've blasted through the prologue mission taking out Greco during a political summit in Greece and we're now onto the big kahuna with the first mission of the main campaign. While away on vacation, Bond gets contacted by M regarding the disappearance of one Dr. Malcolm Tedworth, a researcher at a biotechnology firm called Midhurst Laboratories. Tedworth is speculated to sell the company's weapons technology to the UK's enemies after an anonymous caller tipped off MI6 about the impending transaction. Knowing there's more than meets the eye, we're taken to Istanbul in Turkey where the phone call apparently occurred at a construction site. So rocking up in our sweet ass ride, we'll get on with it. Good morning 007. We located the cell phone that the Echelon system found and tracked it to the opening of an ancient catacomb beneath this construction site. We lost the signal when it went below ground, but you may be able to pick it up again once you get into the catacombs. Q branch and transmission. With Q Branch giving us the lowdown on the phone call Trace's whereabouts, we'll deal with this pesky patrolman to make our way into the construction zone. You! Stop! Where do you think you're going? Dr. Bond. British Museum. Architectural Heritage Foundation. Here to study your preservation efforts. Nah. You can call the Turkish Ministry of Culture. I don't care. Nobody goes down there. Without a hard hat. Of course. Safety first. Now we're in the construction site, we'll bring up our smartphone which has sonar, thermal and advanced sensory capabilities to scan the area. As we bring it up, we can see two pieces of evidence that we can scan off hard drives of these laptops inside these worker cabins to access the info that QBranch needs. As we scan the second laptop, we're guided by a worker to wait for the site foreman in his cabin who wants to speak with us and... wait. Hey, is this a trap? Nah. Is it? No, no, no it's not a trap. <coughs> okay, fair enough then. While we're waiting for the foreman to arrive, we'll scan the last bit of evidence that we need to send back to Q Branch. Safely out of sight from the now revealed thugs posing as construction workers, we'll need to get through these complications to find out what's happened to Tedworth. First, we'll deal with this laid back Tard taking five. Oh man, at least that cabin took Bond out for us. Oh, I'm hungry. After this, I'm gonna go buy a nice, big, fat, juicy. Hey! Oh! I assume that cock was at the end of that sentence. And next up on the proverbial cutting board is this oblivious douche teetering on the edge of the pit. Dude, the echo in his pit is insane. Shoot, Shoot me, me down, down, but I won't, I won't fall. fall. I, I am titanium. Shoot, Shoot me, me down, down, but I won't, I won't fall. fall. <laughs> Turns out you will if I kick you down. Following that administration of ass kicking, we'll head through the bowels of the construction site. Bringing up our smartphone, we can see that we have a good indication of the resistance in the area and we need to keep our heads down and kills quiet. Starting with this ass wipe. I don't know why the boss sent me out here by myself. I mean, something tells me that danger's right around the next- Oh! Hey! One down and a shitload more to go, we'll tiptoe up the slope to take down this next unaware guard. Yes, boss. I understand. I I'll be on the lookout. Eyes to the left, eyes to the right, and eyes straight ahead. Oi, what about eyes behind? Well, I don't see the point in- We'll then wait for the guard on the opposite side to walk out of sight of his posse so we can dispatch him quietly. Oh, what a beautiful day. I sure hope nothing spoils- Seriously, that's the second tosser in this series who's done that. Who gives a shit about the weather, mate? Do your job. <sighs> anyway, we'll next sneak our way through cover to hug the wall where we can see a guard leaning next to a cage full of flammable gas cylinders. Now, while it'd be fun to blow him the fuck up, we need to keep a lid on it for this mission if we want to keep out of trouble. So once the guard further up has disappeared back inside, we'll deal with this one, before he talks about the fucking weather. Then we'll quickly dart up and wait for the next one to pass by. Ten months on the job and I've killed hundreds of people. No one can stop me. Not even if you break my knee and destroy my windpipe, I'll- Oh! <laughs> Go on then, stop me. Live up to your own promises. We'll pass through the doorway to descend upon the next unsuspecting piece of work. 
And now we've done that, we can sneak up to the wall and bring up our smartphone, where we'll see that in addition to the one in front of us, there are two more guards around the corner out of sight. Seeing as how we have our focus aims at the fucking ready, we'll put them to good use. 66 bottles of beer on the wall. Oh my god, I wish I couldn't hear this shit anymore. I wish I was dead. Look, it's Bond! Does he want to join in the song? With the immediate area now clear, we'll hop across the beams and then notice that we can shoot down the crane mechanism to lower ourselves to the surface to begin our trek through the catacombs. Heading through the catacombs, we'll navigate our way past the trains and notice a pair of guards gathered in the side room. Now, seeing as I've just killed a small village back there, I'm feeling a bit generous and will slip past them unnoticed. There he is! Get him! Fine then, that's the last time I'll try to be fucking nice. Oof! Eh. Ah! Yeah. That, my friends, is why politeness in video games rarely, if ever, works out the way you'd want it to. Bypassing this area, we'll head through the next hallway to come across another small gathering. Our objective here is to take the adjacent train further into the catacombs to continue our search for Tedworth. But we first need to get the lights from red to green in order to align the tracks to be able to travel ahead. So by process of requirement, it's time to get our hands dirty. I thought I heard something over here. Put your gun down. No! Put it down. Put it down. Fine! Thank you. We'll then take position behind the next guard and wait until the one in the distance is out of sight so we can act safely. Next, we'll take cover behind the boxes and wait for him to cross to the other side before we creep around his left side to deal with him. Didn't I have two guys out there before? Ah, oh, yeah. There's always a couple of gay ones you can just never really chip. Ah! Ah! Eh! With the train hall completely cleared, we need to get the track line switched by heading down this hallway. We'll wait for the guards to separate before dealing with the one leaning against the tractor. Oh, this cave is filthy and disgusting. Germs, dust, mites. Oh, nothing could be worse. No! No, 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 no! Bond wins. Fatality. Been holding that one in the whole way. And with our three focus aims ready, we'll just nonchalantly go make our way up to these three unitards and... Oh, look, a trophy. Kill them! And with everyone dead, we can head up to the signal room and use the main console to switch the tracks over. However, once we do, we're immediately swarmed by a large number of guards and need to fight our way out. Using our smartphone, we can see they're spread out, but particularly notice the pair coming down in the service elevator, atop of which is a shootable object. So we'll just set up our aim and wait for the good stuff. Give it up, Bond! There's no escape this time! Come out, coward! This is the end of the road for you, Bond! <laughs> With those two disposed of, we still have three guards in immediate proximity. So we'll wait for the nearest one to edge closer towards the gas cylinders before we make our move. You're outnumbered, Bond. You'll never get past me! We'll then bolt up to the next line of cover, and this time we'll be more aggressive in dealing with the idiot on our left. Yeah. By the way, just note that you can collect intel off hard drives in the game, but not every computer has one, so choose sparingly. Taste the wrath of my Uzi, you little worm. Prepare to suffer the indignity of a thousand sons in the furnace of- Eh! <laughs> Religion. Continuing on, we'll pass back through the hall to return to the train hall where we find three final guards standing in our way. We'll first deal with the douche planting himself in front of more gas cylinders. Shoot or you like, Bond. You'll never hit me behind these- ah! Now I'll blow this up because I feel like it! And next I'm going to ask you, have you ever tried Magnolia before? Oof! I didn't think so. And finally, a magic trick. Where did he go? Ta-da! Oh, he's gone. Haha, <laughs> Dark Knight. And with the final stretch of losers out the way, this concludes the first part of episode two of Let's Play Funtime Bloodstone. As always, guys, be sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the episode. I really do appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for more episodes as well as plenty of other awesome videos already available. I'll catch you guys next time.